What is up guys, Finn here and today, well, I'm pretty pissed. So it's been about a week since I put a video out and I recorded on the way to the WOW Motorcycle Monthly Meetup and basically, I guess you can just take a listen, you can't see the screen too well, but... I'm talking right now and this is all you can hear. Which really sucks. Because it was a pretty cool video and I did a couple of cool things like run it really fast on the H2 and saw some crazy custom boosts, which I'll show you all at the end of the video. Just kind of wanted to talk about why I haven't posted a video in a couple of days and what happened in this video because I was excited for it. So right here, here's my helmet and it's just a variant with the GoPro 4 on it and right here is the problem. So. To use a, any kind of lapel microphone with the GoPro, you gotta have this guy right here. It's a, it's like a mic adapter. Can't really see too good. But these things screw me over all the time. It's kind of why I used to use an audio recorder and then started using this, because it's a little easier to stop and start recording when you're only using the GoPro's audio and a microphone. When you're using an audio recorder, you gotta sync up your videos. It's a little harder. So, I don't know, this guy must have come unplugged, because if they mess up, normally you can't get any audio out of the GoPro, but I could hear a little bit of, like, writing, so this guy must have been unplugged just a, just a slight little bit, which is really unfortunate, because it was a pretty cool video, and I was happy with it. So, I don't know, I might have to replace this guy, I might have to do a little bit of testing and figure it out, because there is no bigger bummer than recording a video and it not turning out how you want it to be. And that's kind of why I haven't written in the last couple days to make a video. It's just, it's a bummer. So I guess I'll just let y'all know about a couple things I have going on and then I will play the rest of that video. So I'm actually, this Friday, which I think this is going to go up on... This video will probably go up Wednesday or Thursday, so like that Friday, I'm going to Atlanta Motor Speedway. They do a drag racing competition. I'm bringing the ZX-14 out there and me and my buddy Ricky, who I'll actually tag in this video. He's got a little bit of a YouTube channel he does. He's gonna bring me out there and explain exactly, you know, what I should do and how to do it. Cause I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to go to any kind of like legitimate actual event. So, yeah, uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm extremely nervous, so I'm going to bring a camera along with me, bring all the GoPros and try to get a bunch of cool angles, and I'm going to try to record a ton and just basically go over what it's like to go on your first event. So that, that's coming soon. That'll be a really cool video, and I'll have double check, triple check, quadruple checked my mic setup, make sure that I'm not going to you know, have the same exact thing happen because that's a video I definitely don't want to lose. So where this video is going to pick up is me having just got to WoW, all the footage from before I got there got messed up. When I got there, I got a little footage of the cool uh, high boosts that are there. And then I also have the ending of the video where I went pretty fast and it was a good time. So I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll jump over to that right now. Don't feel fucking at me. Don't feel fucking at me. I'm freaking hungry. Always a great time. Love meeting everyone, like I say every time. It's just a lot of fun, man. A lot of nice people. It's just, it's a lot more fun seeing that side of YouTube sometimes because 
The common section can be brutal, especially if someone's not face to face. And let me tell you, not once have I met someone face to face that actually had some shit to say. I tell people all the time, hey, we do a monthly meetup, especially the people that talk shit. I'm always urging them to come out because there's a lot of people that talk shit. And I'm just like, hey, I'd love for you to come out and say it to my face. No, no, it, it's a good time. We had the pizza and saw a bunch of cool stuff. Those boosters, man. What about those boosters? Those things were insane. <laughs> that shit's wild. I've never really seen in person boosters like that. I mean, I've seen like pictures and stuff. And in person, they're so different, man. They got speakers and tires bigger than like, any fucking car. Yeah, if you've been, if you've been considering coming out, guys, come on out, hang out. It's a good time. It's a couple hours. Sometimes we get a little ride at the end. A lot of times we don't. Like today, Dan didn't bring his bike. So, you know, it's just it's just a lot of fun. The people at WOW are so nice. If there's anything you need, they either have it or can get it to you really quickly. It's just, I, I love those people, man. The people at WOW, Candy and all them are just, they're too freaking good to me. Zach, he's always telling me, he's a bike salesman, but he doesn't mind messing with me. I'm sure I bug the shit out of him when it comes to trying to get parts. He's like, dude, go to the parts counter. But he helps me out. He's just, he's really nice. I love them all. Fuck, that bump is brutal, man. I hit that last freaking time on the ZX-14. Oh, talk to my buddy Ricky. Apparently he's got a YouTube channel. I didn't even know. I talk about him a couple times. And I always like to link my friends down below if, uh, you know, they have YouTube or something. Apparently he does. So in this channel, or in the description of this video, if, you, if I can find it, I'll be putting him on there. But, uh... Yeah, we, we, he goes to the drag strip, uh, Atlanta Motor Speedway, and I've been wanting to go so bad, so I think, not the upcoming Friday, but the one after, I think that uh, we're going to link up and I'm going to try to get out there. I think I'm going to bring the ZX-14 for my first one, just because I don't need to be learning anything on the H2. Bring the H2 to the, my first drag event would be like... Riding the H2 as my first motorcycle ever is just probably not advisable. Besides, the ZX14 is more made for it. So, probably planning on doing that. We'll have some fun. It'll be a good time. That'll be a really cool video. Obviously, I'll bring my uh, GoPro and I'll probably bust out a second GoPro for something like that. I've always been curious what it's like to go, but I'm terrified of like, you know, going for the first time. So uh, it'll be nice to be able to share that experience with other people that have been feeling the same way. What you can expect, what, what'll go down as your first time, what kind of stuff you need to know. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm extremely nervous for something like that. It just, it freaks me out. Please subscribe. I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all. Till next time. Peace.